and Mami. Today I want to show you the um, one way to start your exercise, the, your daily practice. Okay. I haven't really practiced yet, so this is like a beginning of my warming up too. So usually I will try from the like a some note from the middle, um, maybe D is easy to hold and easy to play. And then I always talk about um, the beneficial bene benefit to um, start playing your flute without tanging. Um, okay, that way you will be able to find a way to play, and you can. I think you can hear that your sound well if you don't have tanging. Okay, so. So I feel like now I want to move on to a different note without tanging. After I established this D, I like the sound today. Maybe I will go down. Try to keep the this hole um, bigger than it's not bigger than usual. Um, as wider, as wide as I can, because I'm not actually playing the particular phrase. I'm just. Um, creating the sound so I will keep the, this area relaxed and then keep the hole as wide both uh, both way this way wider I mean I'm whole this hole wider and um, taller as uh, wider as wide and as tall hmm, possible so that um, as if air coming from my mouth is like a round, like a round, like a tube. I um, often express um, the feeling like a, as if the air is going through not outside of, you know, the, this outer lips, more like a, you know, inside this little um, um, how to say your um, inner skin more like a you know like a wet area so you, I will use that area to make a very soft round that's the, how I imagine how I set my lips on this because each note it because uh, height is different and then how the sound creation is different each time I think about what is the better sound 
you know, which way. For example, it's almost like you're playing not always the same way. Maybe you play this way, directionless this way, or inward, outward. So each, each note, I think about what is the best way so that I will find the most satis satisfiable, satisfied <laughs> um, sound for that moment. Like, like this. I don't do it this way. Um, it's not just playing strong, playing with strong um, uh, speeds, fast speed. It's more like a, um, it's a strong uh, pressure, but um, strong pressure, but soft. It's, it's like, um, it need to be balanced. Um, it has a good balance so that you can play, you can make the um, sound that you want to play. Hmm. Like I said, the different direction, you know, I'm just showing how different, but you will, you will know which way is better. It's almost like a, how much you are closing um, this hole or, you know, it's going to show. Like a how you can close, like a, if I show um, more visually, you can close this way or you can close this way. You know how much your uh, a lower lower lip will cover here. You will you will notice the how how flexible um, you can use to play the sound. So that's why I'm saying that this way this way it's not always straight. And because uh, you have a, uh, there is a, a teeth in there and you have a lip shape and then also you have a you know bone around here that it's not completely straight. I mean, my face is not completely straight. Um, so it's, I think it's rare to have a completely straight face. Somehow, you know, this side is a little indent and this side is a little pushed out. This is how my face is. So um, it depends on the face. You want to think about how to set your um, flute, especially if you're adult. You know, if you, you're doing this uh, like you are eight years old and then this is first time to play flute, maybe you can set your flute like a straight, completely balanced. I mean, you know, most 99% balanced. But uh, if you're an adult, you've been playing a long time, then you will have some kind of, you know, unevenness around here. So use it. For example, I play more like this way instead of, you know, straight because of the, my teeth issues and then how my um, facial structure is, um, I probably uh, did get the, some, you know, not so good uh, posture when I started to loot. Um, so who knows the reason, but I can, that's why now I can make many different sounds, like a, you know, soft or sharp anyway, because I move my flute this way a lot so this is something you can explore when you have you know a little time like a three minutes you can just think about use the one note like a which way um, is the best sound for you or maybe which which sound is best for the music you are working on so this is one suggestion. Thank you.